The Washington Avenue Bridge pedestrian enclosure has been an iconic part of our campus since it was built in 1970. We've known for a while that the elements have taken their toll and the image of the bridge no longer reflects what we want to portray for our campus. There's an effort underway to complete a design for a total renovation of the bridge. To date, we haven't identified funding for that project, which could approach $10 million. There's a point in the tour for prospective students where they're brought to the Washington Avenue Bridge. It's a high point of the tour because of the fantastic views, the Mississippi River, the Wiseman Museum, the beautiful skyline. However, admissions has told us it's also a low point in the tour because of the dilapidated condition of the bridge. Wood panels are rotted through, metal frames are rusting, and paint is peeling. Since it's still unclear when funding will be available for a permanent resolution, we asked FM's U Construction Carpenters to come up with a cost-effective solution that would get us through the short term. Dan Jack, BJ Austin, and Seth Anderson did just that. So we started with uh, panels, both half and full panels, to cover up the existing uh, degraded plywood. When we got done with it, we kind of looked at it and said, this isn't going to work. You could still see all the rusty metal around it. After we went through the first panels, we came up with a team solution where we kind of collaborated. We came up with a plywood and two by four framing that covered up all the rust and all the plywood that was rotting away. I'll have to admit, I was a little skeptical when Dan first came up with the idea to reclad the entire bridge. However, after getting feedback from admissions and CPPM, we received a universal thumbs up. The carpenters had come up with a great idea. We have all the carpenters install the 2x4 framing, and after that's complete, they install the plywood, the plywood cap, and the weather-resistant composite base. Our U Construction painters put on a gray primer coat, then the University of Minnesota traditional maroon, and it's finished off with a vinyl sticker with the University of Minnesota Block M. Part of our mission in facilities management is to create a welcoming campus. Anytime you can take an eyesore and turn it into a point of pride, that's welcoming. It's exciting to me when our staff comes together to come up with solutions that are creative, affordable, and effective. Angie Gugesberg has been the project manager on this team, John Steyer is our construction superintendent, and Karen Hawkinson was working as project coordinator. Purchasing was on the ball, getting all the materials on time, everything came together. I'd like to say thank you to the entire facilities management staff for the work that you do every day. Our work is often behind the scenes, goes unnoticed, and may seem underappreciated. I just want you to know I appreciate the work that you do every day to make our campus safe, reliable, and welcoming. They rocked it! This is a great project. Get out of your office, come out to the bridge and check it out. It's awesome. Thanks for your support.